Bloxy2 introduces a brand new way to filter the products that are present on your e-commerce website. The filter Gutenberg blocks come in really handy when you have a highly stuffed shop with lots of products with attributes, categories, brands, and so on. And the renowned ease of use that you've already accustomed to makes it very simple to get started. One thing that needs noting here is that the shop filters module is part of the Bloxy Pro package with the professional or agency plans as they are part of the Shop Extra extension. In this video, we'll check out how to implement shop filters for categories, attributes, brands, and even a sleek looking price filter for your products. As you can see, we already have a pre-populated shop with various products, attributes, and so on. The sidebar is empty though. Let's fill it up with our filter widgets. Start by navigating to the WordPress dashboard. Choose Appearance on the left side and then choose Widgets. Let's add the first widget to the WooCommerce sidebar widget area. We choose the price filter widget, search for price and choose the block with the squiggly border icon and drag it to the widget area. If we expand the block tree view, you can see that the widget is composed of two sub blocks, a heading which represents what the widget is, which can be removed and the actual filter controls. Clicking on the filter controls block, should show some of the settings that are available for configuration. The Show Tooltip option lets your users see a little tooltip box whenever they drag the price filters handles. This lets them have more precise control over the range that they want to filter by. The Show Prices option lets you show the currently selected price range under the price slider. And the last option, Show Reset button, pops up a filter reset button if the slider is changed to easily let people get back to the full price range. A super simple but powerful implementation. Let's move on to the real meat and potatoes. First, we will set up a filter for categories. Sure enough, search for the shop filters block and drag it to the widget area. The widget is composed of two sub blocks once again, a heading that signifies what the filter is and the filter controls. Clicking on the filter controls block lets us adjust how the filter widget behaves. Notice that there are two main filter criteria, filtering by taxonomies and by attributes. Filtering by taxonomies lets your users search for products by their categories, tags, brands, and even custom taxonomies attached to products. After selecting the kind of filtering criteria, you can check out the styling and behavioral options. For example, you can render the filters as a standard list or inline one term after the other. Configuration options include multiple selections, which lets your visitor select more than one term at a time to filter by. A handy search box option that lets your visitors search through multiple terms and select only the ones that are needed in case there are too many of them. An option to show a checkbox near each selected term. An option to show the hierarchy of your selected taxonomy term in case you have multiple parent-child relationships. An option to toggle the item counters so that users can quickly see at a glance how many products are assigned to that taxonomy term. There's also an option that lets you exclude some specific taxonomy terms in case you don't want to show all of them. And of course, there's an option to enable a reset button to automatically return to the unfiltered configuration. Now that we've got the basics out of the way, it's time to configure filters for attributes and brands. The story is very similar with only a couple of options being different depending on the context. After we have added a brands filter, you can see that there are a couple of new options that can be applied to these particular filter controls. Most importantly, there's an option to show the brand logo instead of just a simple line of text with image controls that let you adjust the look and feel precisely. And a new option to turn off the text label so that you can showcase just the brand image. The other options behave exactly the same. Let's finish it off with an attribute filter. Once we have selected an attribute, a new option appears in the filter controls pane. The show swatches option will show these attributes as swatches if they have been previously configured as such. This makes for a beautiful display by giving users a more visual input when selecting attributes. If you wish to find out more about how to configure these, Watch our sister video on our website on the new Variation Swatches feature. Other than that, the same options are available as with the last filters. Splendid! We've set up a price filter, a category filter, an attribute filter, and a brands filter. 
Let's go back to the front end to see what has been accomplished. Notice the price filter slider. You can drag either end of it to restrict the products shown to that specific price range. The category filter will let you select some specific categories that you'd like to show. Next up is the attribute filter, which further drills down the list. And last but not least, the beautiful brands filter, which gets you the desired result. And there's one more little thing that we like to note before closing out. What if there was a way to quickly reset all applied filters with just a click? so that the user can get back to the unfiltered list of products and refine their search even more. This can be accomplished in two ways. First, there's a setting in the Customizer, Product Archives pane, which lets you display a simple section that shows the active filters, which we can already see on the site here. Alternatively, you may include our Active Filters widget in the sidebar if you wish to have a more compact design. As you can see, both of these choices have individual X buttons to remove just one filtering option from the query, or a Reset All button that automatically removes all filters from the query. And that is it, absolutely awesome. A very simple but intuitive way to implement easy to use filters for your shop. Now all part of Bloxy Pro and no further than a few clicks away. Click, 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 and get instant results. And if you wish to learn more about what Bloxy 2 has to offer, Continue on onto our website or click on one of our other videos to keep watching.